Dreams do come true. Got it going, get them down, cut it down. Welcome to our beautiful guest today on Dream Big. You may have seen her on the VH1 reality show Suave Says, or more recently, taking home the crown to Miss California, USA. Please welcome Nadia Mejia. What's up, Nadia? How you been? How are you? It's so good to see you. I'm doing good. For those of you that don't know, Nadia and I went to high school together. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Diamond Bar High School. Yes. Shout and out I'm to Cordell as a freshman hitting on a senior. Okay. <laughs> That's crazy. I was about to tell you the story. So I don't know if you know this. I tried my hardest to get your attention my first year. Shut up. For real. I tried everything in the book. I even dropped my book in front of you hoping like we could pick it up and start a conversation. That didn't work. Can we talk about how I walked by with my mom one time and you're like, you got it from your mom. <laughs> no. <laughs> you did that. That happened. No, it just it did. It clear. did. I ain't even going to lie. You got game. Just a little bit. Can you talk about the culture of a place like Diamond Bar and how has it shaped you as a person? Well, I love growing up at Diamond Bar because not many people know about it. It's just mm -hmm. like kind it's of It's real low key too. Really low key, but so nice. Um, it's a great grounding. What, what inspired you to become a model? It was right before I graduated high school. I was scouted at the US Open, the, the Huntington Beach like surfing event. I was walking with a few of my girlfriends and they were like, this woman approached me and she's like, you should model. And I was like, oh great, like another one of these scams. <laughs> like LA is so full of people like that. <laughs> but it was legit. And then I ended up signing with Next for three years. and Right after high school? Mm -hmm. And wow. then I just started my modeling career and year by year it flourished. and. Now I do it full time. I travel mm -hmm. the world and it's been an incredible experience. That's so dope. With all your friends going to college, was it hard for you to skip school and figure out what you wanted to do? I don't think skipping school was a problem for me just because I know what I wanted to do in my future mm -hmm. and it was in the entertainment field. And I mean, college is so important and education really is something that eventually in the long run, I'd like to get my degree in restaurant management. Oh, and, you wow. Know, open so you up know how restaurant. to cook a little bit. Oh, I'm a really good cook. You should wipe me up. It's great. Oh, what? Um, <laughs> but anyways, um, <laughs> no, but I, education is really important to me. It's just something that I want to wait on. And right mm -hmm. now this is my time because with modeling, you're old at like 26. So That's true. I got to kill it while I can. All right, since you're still young and we having fun, and you're on Dream Big, we're going to have a little bit of fun with some would you rather questions and you're going to answer them to the best of your ability. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Date Justin Bieber and Zac Efron. Justin Bieber all the way. Why? He's a babe. He's a little tool, but he's a babe. Zac Efron, you don't, what, you don't, Zac Efron, he got abs everywhere. I even seen an ab right here. I was like, how did you do that? I don't know. When I think of Zac Efron, I think of like High School Musical and it's like his bowl haircut. But he's, like, he's came a long way from High School Musical. He's killing it, but you asked me my preference. I would rather <laughs> Justin well, Bieber. Well, shout out to Justin Bieber, Justin man. Justin Bieber. Don't try to take Nadia from me. She all <laughs> mine. Would you rather talk on FaceTime or a regular phone call? FaceTime. FaceTime? I like FaceTime because for me, I live far away from my family. So mm -hmm. like... For me to feel like I'm kind of there with them, I love FaceTime. You kind of see my mom's face, and you know everyone else over the phone. Don't you dislike when people just FaceTime you out of the blue that you don't know and you're not cool with it like that? I don't like random people FaceTiming me. I'll like, decline those, but I'm the like, ones that I answer. Like. I'm like, you need to make a FaceTime appointment with me. You oh, can't no. just FaceTime me. I might be somewhere I'm not supposed to be, and you just FaceTiming me. They're just trying to keep you in check. Right, right. Would you rather? Go on an airplane or take a road trip? Airplane. I hate the car. An airplane? I have to pee like every two minutes. Like, it's really bad. Well, so let me road tell you trips something. like hard for me. <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you something. I'm lactose intolerant, so mm -hmm. I can't I can't, I can't, can't do no airplane. No. Why? I see, I'm lactose intolerant. If I got the boo boo, I got the boo boo. Right <laughs> in it's, it's no holding in. And I've seen a movie. Have you seen Soul Plane? No, I have not. In Soul Plane, Kevin Hart was taking a boo boo, right? A boo-boo. Yeah. Why not a poo-poo? Why a boo-boo? I like boo-boo. Boo-boo it's, it's, sounds it's classier. Yeah, it's, okay. it's way classier. So he taking a boo-boo, and he pressed the flush button, and his toilet just it sucked him in, and he couldn't get up. So whatever I see on TV, I believe it. I don't care if a shark turned into a dog and that dog turned into a human. It's real. <laughs> so when I saw that, I told myself, you know what, Cordell? Don't ever take a boo-boo on an airplane. So you never taken a boo-boo on a plane? Never. 
It's on my bucket list, but I'm, I can't okay. do it. We can overcome this fear together. Let's go travel somewhere, and then I'll give you a little milk, and we're just going to, like, <laughs> overcome it. I'll stand outside and, like, talk you through it. I'm like, you're going to take your boo-boo. It's going to be great. You're crazy. One last question. <laughs> Would you rather use Instagram or, or Snapchat? You know what? Nowadays, I love Snapchat. Only because Instagram for me is like a business. Unfortunately, the modeling industry is all about how many followers you have and what you post. And it's become such a hassle rather than me posting what I want to post. And on my Snapchat, I'm just a freaking kook. So. That's what I'm saying. I get ratchet on Snapchat. Yeah, same. I, I follow you on Snapchat. If you Snapchat me, I know you're ratchet. I'm a little just ratchet. a little bit. Everybody got some ratchetness in them. <laughs> Well, you heard it here first. Nadia Mahia would rather use Snapchat over Instagram and date Justin Bieber before giving Zac Efron a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is London, and I will be interrupting you with news updates and reminders throughout the season. Breaking news, a reminder to everyone, make sure to vote on election day. Your voice needs to be heard. Regardless of how you feel about the Colin Kaepernick protests, you cannot deny that it has sparked conversation throughout the country. Tweet your take with the hashtag Dream Big and it could be featured on the next episode. Sandea recently turned 20 years old and decided to raise $50,000 for impoverished women. Sandea says this program helps themselves and their families breaking the cycle of poverty. You go, girl! Revolt of the Youth is our charity designed to help the youth get out and have more action. Here's the last recap we did. We're working primarily with young people because we really want to encourage and inspire our generation to get out and help the community because it's really our duty to make an impact and to take care of one another. So that's what we're doing here. Hi everybody, I'm India Love. I'm representing Revolt of the Youth and we're giving back to the community. Well, let's get back to these questions. When did you realize you can make it in the modeling industry? With modeling, it's such a vain industry. Mm -hmm. All they care about is the way that you look. I mean, you can have an ugly heart and they still would hire you. But That's so sad. the beauty of pageantry is that you have a voice and you have a platform. And with me personally, through experiences that I've gone through in my life, I suffered really badly from anorexia. Mm -hmm. And when I started pageants, I started speaking out about that and you know, promoting positive body image to young women. And now I work alongside the National Eating Disorder Association and I tell my story to schools worldwide about you know, women loving the skin that they're in and that people's opinions of you don't define your self-worth, that it comes from God and you know, from within. That's such a beautiful thing. How did you overcome all those setbacks and, you know, that self-doubt? That man over there. Him? Yeah. Him over there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, no. Yeah, I love He's him. He's pretty great. I love him. Yeah, love no. Him. My faith definitely <laughs> got me through it. And my family. Mm -hmm. A good support system. I mean, I think everyone needs that. And if you can't find it in your family, you got to find it within your friends. And I found it within everyone around me everyone was super supportive and got me back on my feet again and now I'm healthy I got a booty and I embrace <laughs> it you know <laughs> that's real good so with your with your parents being there how does that make you you know more of a, a positive influencer to the youth well with my parents there I mean they really molded me into who I was and my dad's a pastor so that really helped because Did, I don't think they know who your father is my dad once upon a time Sang a song. <laughs> he didn't wear a shirt and had really ugly hair. Um, <laughs> I like his hair. It was pretty. He's bald now, but he, he rocks the hat. I mean, he still looks like he's 25. Um, but they molded me into who I was. So when I was going through that rough time, I mean, really confiding in them and being honest with them, they, they helped me through it. And they never looked down on me, but they just wanted what was best for me. How did you feel when you were pronounced Miss California USA 2016? It was amazing. It was the best feeling in the world. My mom was Miss West Virginia and competed at Miss USA in like 19. See, I knew you got it from your mama. Yeah, <laughs> you knew I all told, along. Remember? You foreshadowed it. Come on, I yeah. know what I'm talking about. I, I know. Well, I followed in your <laughs> footsteps and it was a dream come true. Honestly, being Miss California has changed my life. Completely. When I seen so your reaction, I was like, she's a professional. Because I know if I was named 
Mr. California, mm -hmm. I would have been out there like, you lying. <laughs> you, I'm Mr. California, call my mom. Call my mom right now. <laughs> my mom was in the audience. She was like watching and screaming. She went crazy. Yeah, huh? my whole entire family did. So what's, what's next for you now that the pageant is over? I don't know, whatever God has in store for me. I just plan on still singing, still acting, and still modeling. It's been great. Well, that's a beautiful thing. We're going to end the show off on a positive note because this show is full of positivity and we mm -hmm. like to influence the youth mm -hmm. watching back at home. Mm -hmm. So this is the last question. If you were to give the youth one message, what would it be? If I could give the youth one message, it would be don't let anyone else's opinion of you define your self-worth. Your worth comes from God. Your worth comes within. I mean, at the end of the day, every, not everyone's going to like you. and You just have to know who you are and love who you are and embrace the way that God made you to be. That was so beautiful. You inspired me. Thanks, man. Thank you, Nadia, for coming on the show today. I really appreciate you, and I wish you nothing but the best moving forward with your life and with your singing and modeling. Whatever you can do, do it to the fullest, and always dream, dream big. big. Don't be afraid. We all fall and get up. You gotta learn.